Stop attacking. Stop attacking. I'm not doing this. Am I hacked? Oh my god, get out of there. Get out of Paisley. What's going on, everyone? It's me, uh, Diddly Doodler, Fiddly Poodler, Alex the Rambler here, coming at you. But today we are back on Hearts of Iron 4. That's right. That's the intro. Wow. And today we're going to be playing a mod, which obviously uh, I'm going to enjoy because it's set in Britain and it's a very British civil W-A-R. And look, we've even got a nice cup of tea and digestive biscuit. Nom nom nom, I want them now. Luckily, I do have a cup of tea, right? Oh, wow, look at that. But I don't have any digestive biscuits. But what's this uh, mod all about, I hear you say? Well, dear viewer, in our timeline, King Edward VIII, widely rumoured to harbour right-wing sympathies, abdicates in 1936 in order to marry American socialite Wallace Simpson. In this timeline, the, 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 mod, that we're, the mod that we're playing... He doesn't. What follows is a constitutional crisis and the collapse of the United Kingdom as we know it, as the British Isles are plunged into a bloody and multifaceted, yet curiously sporting and whimsical, civil <laughs> Damn, I said W-A-R- Oh my god. If you like the idea of armed Morris dancers and Women's Institute armoured columns, if you've longed to hear the stirring sound of Jerusalem blaring from the wings of a squadron of dive bombers, if you've always wanted to see a frishing trawler with a 25 pound fill gun lashed to its deck then look no further Whew. now it is in its very early stages and this is the demo version and you can only play as the scottish republic kerno the jacobites or the clydeside commune uh so i'm looking forward to jumping on in quite frankly so of course comment like and subscribe five thousand likes for more hoy you know I'm going to play it anyway. It, it it just helps with the engagement. I should just say, please leave a like. It helps, shouldn't I? Rather than set like targets. Liking, commenting, and subscribing really do help. That's why YouTubers will say, all you need to do to enter this giveaway is comment, like, subscribe. They only know if you've commented. Again, just 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 exposing. Alex the Exposer. Not not in a, um, a naked way, unless you follow my... Um, Instagram. League of Nations. League of Nations. So, we have S the Scottish Republic. A pause to the King and his Prime Minister Morsley. Scotland has seceded from the United Kingdom and declared itself a republic. I can't do a Scottish accent. What the heck was that? Scottish forces fight to retain their independence once the war is over. And you get uh, Scottish Renaissance and uh, Unionist officers. We have Kerno, like the Welsh, the Cornish Nationalist movement sees the opportunity to end English rule. Red Clyside, socialism in action, workers from the urban and industrial areas who seek a socialist revolution in Britain, not just reform. Alright, and then we have the Jacobites. Angered by the failures of the Republic, a group of Highland noblemen have invited the last heir to the Stuart line to return to Scotland. I think we should do that. Highland laddie! The ranks of the Jacobites are drawn from hardy folk accustomed to the harsh environment of the Scottish Highlands and Islands. Now, fun fact, I didn't know this, but at the time of the last... Well, I do know, know now, thanks to the uh, Canadian uh, WAR Museum, who had like a, an exhibit about Scotland and uh, the Jacobite rebellions. Uh, at the time of the last Jacobite rebellion, a third of the Scottish population were located in the Highlands and two-thirds in the lowlands. Nowadays, 95% of the population is in the lowlands of Scotland and only 5% is in is in the uh, is it, are in the highlands. So it's it's quite kind of crazy really. Rambler fact. So we're going to play as the Jacobites and try and restore the Stuart heir to the throne, Compton Mackenzie. I I I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't do the I I am technically British. Does that mean I can I can try and imitate accents from the British Isles? I think so. But the whole map is just um, <laughs> the UK. Wee! Oh my god, the earth is flat. Uh, let's go! <sighs> I'm actually drinking some Cornish tea right now. I found it in a store called Winners. Um, if you want to skip ahead and get to the actual video, I'm sure someone will, will timestamp it for you so you don't hear me waffle. But a crisis has befallen the British Isles and the country stands at the blink of bloody ruin. 
It began in the final weeks of 1936 when Prime Minister Baldwin, citing opposition from Parliament, the public and the church, informed King Edward VIII that, he, that neither he nor his cabinet would condone the king's marriage to American socialite and divorcee Wallace Simpson. <gasps> Presenting the king with an ultimatum, Baldwin threatened to resign. Mm. King Edward didn't believe him, but he did resign. Okay, what happened next? The appointment of Mosley. <gasps> And not current member of articles widespread outrage. Oh my gosh. Mosley's appointment proved equally unpopular with the population, sparking protests across the country. Clashes between white ring white, white wing and socialist organizations escalated into widespread violence over Christmas and the New Year. Oh dear, violence continued. Troops to deploy the king instead authorized the raising of auxiliary constabularies. I'm gonna have to stop talking, otherwise the whole video is gonna be me talking about the law, isn't it? So just read it if you want to, and I'm going to read it now. Oh my god, Edward called on Mosley to impose martial law. <gasps> the king fled London to take up residence at the Worcestershire? Worcestershire? I, I know someone in Canada once that pronounced Worcestershire, Worcestershire Shire. <laughs> you got any of that Worcestershire Shire sauce? Sorry, I shouldn't make fun of Canadians. Let me in the country, please. Only Canada remained unscathed in the Empire and offered refuge to the King's brothers and their families as they fled the increasingly hostile situation at home. The Anglican League rose up. Wow. This is, um... This is pretty great. Now town and country alike have been riven by open warfare, but no side has been able to make any serious territorial gains. With the worst of the winter weather fast approaching, a Christmas truce has been called. Although uneasy, it has so far been honoured by all combatants. Do I even have any divisions up here? We have a few divisions, and we're not at war with anyone. I think we need to grow in strength, so I will honour the truce. So who's the Scottish Republic led by? Alexander McEwen. You should bow to the House of Stuart. Bow to me. Actually, where is my capital? Inverness? Yeah. Inverness. Aye. My best friend is is marrying someone from Scotland, so so this is all fine, right? Me 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 saying stuff like, Ahay menu. And uh, uh, shut up, Alex. Shut up. Uh, mortar platoon. Alright, we need some mortars. Bring forth the mortars! Simon Fraser. Go on, son. Get in there, you smiley bloke. And we've got Alexander Horde Leuven, who's better than Compton Mackenzie. Look at that, a level 5 field marshal. Ooh. And there are custom focus trees. We finally got to that point in the video. Uh, right, so shall we do the old invite reprelate? The King of Bavaria? The only traceable Stuart heir, Kin Ruprecht, has a tricky situation in Germany. With the German government stripping him of more and more power, he is desperate to get away from his homeland. Comte Mackenzie, the leader of the movement, suggests we invite him to the Highlands to lead a cause against the Republicans. The letter was sent in the middle of the night via dangerous back channels, unreliable sources, and general blind luck. It was just transported from the fair highlands of Scotland to the wild Alps of Bavaria. Ruprecht was crowned King Robert the Sixth and First of Scotland, England, Ireland in a dingy airfield on the island of Rona. Along live the king. Hey, look at the eyes, hey. But look at that. Stability, war support, division attack, and division defense on core territory. Oh, so we could just betray him right away and then unify Scotland. But I would like to seek Italian aid first and then strengthen. We're going to strengthen him. Yeah, long live the king. Plea to the Vatican. <gasps> the Royal Italian House of Savoy is rumored to have sympathies for our cause. Yes. I mean, they're not on the map anymore, but yes. <laughs> strengthen. There has been rumors of a coup by Robert's wife. These are preposterous. Robert is the one true king and a good Catholic king. May he and the Stuarts rule over Britain. Mmm. Aye. <laughs> Shut up, Alex. Shut up. Plea to the Vatican. We are currently not in a great position regarding our military situation. An envoy shall be sent to the Pope to rally all good Catholics to... Are we about to start a freaking... So what have we got? I haven't even looked around the map, have I? My apologies. My apologies, viewers at home. So there, are, there is the Royalists led by King Edward VIII, although I don't know how long you're going to last, mate. We've got the Provisional Government, led by Od Oswald Mosley. Right. The Anglican League, which is just the Church of England now, I guess. There you've got, um, Kerno. South Wales Commune. What have we got here? Yorkist Front, led by Churchill. Oh, they control rather random parts of the country. All right. Is that Liverpool's independent. 
The free city of Liverpool. The whole side commune. Midlands commune. Wow. This is cool. Very cool. Oh my god, the Pope responds. A rickety plane, the very same that transported Robert to these fair isles, made southeast, past the border, past the white cliffs of Dover, even past the French countryside, so ravaged by war. And just when the plane seemed to have run out of fuel, it landed safely in Rome. In his old age, and in the absence of his advisors, his grace may not have act may not have been acting in his full mental capacity, but he somehow managed to call the 10th Crusade whilst having serious geopolitical repercussions. This is by no means detrimental to us. Um... Okay, we get manpower. Nice. Let's get recruiting then. Send them to the front. Italian advisors, which gives us division defense. Well, the Italians love us. I'm surprised they give us any buffs based on their performance in uh, WW2. Right, I guess next. Um, empower the Catholics. The north of, 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 of Scotland is historically Catholic. Catholicism must spread. Sure, let's get extra recruitable population. I, I'm basically just calling upon the entirety of the Highlands to come and help me, aren't I? The only thing setting me back here is my equipment. I just don't have enough. Probably because I'm only making six rifles a day. It's kind of a bit sad, isn't it? Traditional beliefs. Improved machine tools. I need the production efficiency, even on my six rifles a day. Oh, gosh. For king and country... Gains national spirit every Scot's duty. The time to act is now. Oh, the Fjord of Fort William. Well, yes, please. So many populations. I, I do need an army, though. A big army. Okay, I would like the Fjord of Fort William. We lack a true professional fighting unit. A highly trained unit should be raised in Fort William. Good. Elite Highlanders. Oh, God, the Highland Charge. I'm looking forward to using that. How many factories do these fellows have? It's, I can't tell, can I? Yeah. That's frustrating. Right. A Royal Scottish Army. Um, yes. Uh, and how do I declare war on the people, please? There we go. The Royal Guard Divisions of the Jacobites. Can I recruit more of those, please? If only I was producing artillery. I uh, guess I'm going to be down to three rifles a day. Now, the one advantage I have is that it's all like frickin' mountains up here. So if, the, if I declare war on the Scottish Republic and they try and attack my positions. I'm hoping that I'd be able to hold. Do I have any planes? Nay! I'm gonna have to just start getting um, military factories, even though my infrastructure, oh God. Okay, I think it's time. <sighs> Scotland stands divided in these dark times, but there is one who can unite our land, the leader of our nation. We must retake our birthright and unite Scotland. I agree. Okay, uh, I'm gonna call my agency Haggis. Um, it can be a lion. I just want to get uh, one agent so I can see and I get some intel on them. <gasps> we have a factory. Oh, I should probably have been doing my land doctrine. Oh, irregular warfare. Sure, I'll take that. I would like some extra resources. We've got, we've got, we've got thousands of old fishing ships that have no use. Oh, damn. So I could declare war on these fellows. They're now led by Maul Ramsey. I'm quite scared of them. But now we can get an agent. Helen. Do we have an intel network of anything yet? Come on. Hurry up, Helen. Conservation for a cause. A critical population of 20%. So I have the I have the people. Celtic identity. Our forefathers are all Celtic descent. By promoting an idea of Celtic exceptionalism, we can draw closer as a nation. Okay, cool. Give me that war support. They have a lot of divisions. I'm kind of scared of, of them. <gasps> oh, would you look at that? Red Clyde side's going for it. The Glaswegians. Go on. Wreck them. Then I can go in for the kill. Oh, yes. Oh, wow, they're actually expanding. That's not what I was hoping would happen, to be honest. Uh, um, do they have less divisions on my border now? They do. Oh, do I risk it? I'm going to wait to see how this plays out for a little bit, but I might end up joining the war. Oh, Red Clyde side. They, they appear to be quite powerful. They do have the population of Glasgow, which... <laughs> Black market imports? Give me everything, maybe? <laughs> Let's go. Could I actually attack we can i'm going for it encircle them please take their airfield thank you me old maka okay so they are still uh, probably more powerful than 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 me um my my network though she's she's spreading she's 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 getting out there the chance to encircle them take it take it come on so i need to capitulate them before they capitulate me oh yeah baby Okay, let's take as much as we can then. Oh, yes. So I need to watch out for the Clyde side, because they're going to get all of the industrial base, aren't they? Damn. I didn't... I did not get as much as I wanted. 
Clydeside declared war on the Yorkist front. Well, they're freaking going for it, aren't they? They're going after Winston. That's fine with me. That's fine. Fine with me. Then I can I can sweep down like the tide of the Highlander as I am. It's really bright in here today, isn't it? My lighting is all over the place. Jeez. All right, here we go. Time to try and take out Clydeside and the Manx State. Um, sure. Thank you. So the focus trees are quite small and, and basic, but at least it works, right? So the, at least the mod works. Which is all you can really hope for when they're doing like a first release. I'm a bit confused as to how I'm getting pushed back so easily. I don't know if my divisions are best placed about the hoose. Wow, I am lacking a lot of inventory equipment. Oh no. Fall back, fall back to the mountains. This did not go to plan, this war. Uh, for being quite quite frank. Hold on, you can give people pipe bands? Why have I not been doing this? <laughs> okay, so now we're back in mountainous terrain. This is where the Jacobites excel, in theory. If we can keep holding, that would be grand. Just weaken them down more and more and more until we can go in for the absolute devastation kill the Rooney. So, um, it appears the Yorkists are holding them off. So, I just need to weaken their divisions up here enough and also preserve my units enough. And it, we should be okay. I'm just lacking lots of infantry equipment, which should be on the way to being replaced. Okay, so here we go. They have 36 civilian factory. Holy moly! But they're out of manpower. I think could this be my time. Once once we have a bit more equipment, then I'll then I'll go for the push, because they are not using their factories effectively. So our units are probably okay to attack soon. We've only we're only we're only running at a two thousand. Oh. Improved mortar. Thank you. Yeah, should we try and do a cheeky push? Let's try for a cheeky push. Yes, they are getting overwhelmed. I hope. Yep, this is it now. We're really going ham. They they can't stop me. Oh, we've encircled them. Highland charge away. Ahoy. Oh, they could just retreat across there, but not if we trap them, which we have done. Oh, yeah, baby. It doesn't really look like they're able to stop me anymore, so we're going to keep on continuing and just taking down as many, many tiles as possible. Oh, no, we're going to get encircled. Throw away. Shoot it up. Looks like they're isolated though, so their their naval invasion didn't really I'll go to Plano. Uh, yeah, this is just a case of hopefully uh, wiping them out. They haven't lost any of their core territory apparently though yet. Once we get to Glasgow, oh for pity, sir, glad it. Uh, they've gone around. Wow, that could be a nice encirclement here. Well, it's not going to be an encirclement. They're going to be able to escape, I imagine. Is Glasgow open, and you're not going for it? You fool. All right, no, they're just collapsing. Oh, yeah, baby. Give me everything. Bam, 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 bam. Unfortunately, um, the Yorkist front is going to be taking some territory. Less than ideal. I wanted it all. I wanted to reunite Scotland. Glasgow is very important. Okay, so I've managed to get Glasgow. We didn't manage to get Edinburgh, but maybe I can get Ayrshire or Wigtownshire. Oh, damn, Wigtown. I actually spent um, some time in Kakubri and Wigtown. It's a very nice, very nice area. Would recommend. So the only thing that's uh, good for me at the moment is that the Yorkist Front took a load of casualties in that war. So I'm hoping we could take out the Yorkists somehow. I'll just have to justify manually. Yeah, Middle Ovian, 105 days. I would, it would be beneficial for me to be able to get more troops into the forces. Just really want to see what kind of intel we can get on them. They have a lot of factories. They don't have a whole lot of manpower. It's going up. Uh oh. Holy moly, why am I getting so much attrition here? That's confusing, considering resistance strength. Oh. Oh my god, how many forts were there in this place? Wow. Uh, what I might do then is give them that territory so they're taking all of the attrition. So I'm running into a problem at the moment where I just uh, I can't seem to <sighs> get enough men to garrison everything effectively. It's a bit frustrating. I am doing local police force to try and bring the resistance down. I'm going to have to re-justify... Oh no, I still have the war goal. Is it just... Oh, it's just a permanent. I have a permanent war goal. Okay, that's good. Uh, I'm just going to continue to increase the amount of equipment that I'm getting. 
once everything is looking healthier, I will declare war on them. And I'm hoping my divisions will be able to hold them. I'm trying to get uh, just a heck load of mountaineers. I'm going to actually rename them. The Highlanders! Yeah, they're only 10 combat width. Uh, and they're not amazing. But I think, I think they're, they're going to do. They're, they'll do very nicely for us. Let's get the armored platoon in. Right, I think I'll just go for it. Was that me immediately losing? Or was that... Oh, the Anglican League want to send seven volunteers? Why, thank you. Okay, well, it appears they're going to take the tiny islands. Where's my navy? You're not doing a very good job of convoy raiding, are you? Freaking... So we're losing Motherwell. Gonna lose Paisley. Oh my gosh! I didn't even realise we had King Robert the First, the Sixth and First that could be used here. I'm a bit confused as to why they haven't tried to attack me yet. Very confused indeed. I don't think that I'd be able to push against them. Or could I? Well, let's just wait until all of our weapons are starting to get stockpiled. And then we'll switch over to weapons, infantry equipment too. Yay! And then immediately try and get more military factories. Now let's see, could my divisions beat theirs? Nope. If I try to attack just them... Oh, okay, yeah. I can certainly take the one tile, no problemo. Then, if we try and take a, another tile... Look, bim bam boom! It, it doesn't work. Oh no, it's working! It's working! We're doing it! I don't... Uh, no, go back into position. I might be able to take Edinburgh just through cheesing them a bit like this. Let me add them. Let me at the suckers. Do it! I've got an industrial base. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Ooh, if I can get an army of the Royal Guards, that'd be rather nice. There does definitely need to be more balancing in this, because it's... <laughs> um, well, you can see how much I've taken, and I'm, I, I've am i been... What, we're, we're 1945 now. 1945. Oh, dear. I thought that was Mr. Bean for a second then, old Charles McLean. <laughs> Well, it's a bit of, I'm getting a bit mixed up in me adage. Okay, so my artillery divisions, or, you know, basic 20 combat whip, appear to be doing a, an alright job at, it, at expanding. The game runs so quickly, I'm just going through the years, it's insane. <laughs> and infantry equipment. Wow, this is really bogged down, isn't it? So what I'm going for here is an encirclement. I'm hoping that'll work. And we can hold that. Breach. Hold the breach. Encircle them destroy them and then we've gained more of Scotland you see it's as easy as that he says although as you can tell we might be about to lose the position that didn't really go to plan uh. oh they're starting to attack my positions a little bit now that's that's nice of them lucky they're attacking the fortified bits cheers guys oh they have a lot of manpower improved Bavarian veterans a battalion of loyal ba oh oh the Bishan Ruffigan Richard yeah all right, nice. Oh, Kerno declared war on the loyalists. That's uh, royalists, sorry. Um, I, 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 I should goodbye Cornwall then, I presume. <laughs> wow, when they just launched their new assault, I just got completely surrounded up here. When they attack, they attack so quickly, there's no way you can do anything about it. I think it's coming down to the fact that I don't have medium tanks and I'm no longer in the mountains, so my Jacobites are a bit useless. And we've lost Glasgow. Are you flicking serious, lad? Oh, no, never mind. We can just take it back. Um, I might lose. I don't appear to have the divisions or manpower to hold them anymore. That's really unfortunate. We will fight them in the mountains. We will fight them in the loch. We will never sell in there, the Jacobit. Uh, I just don't get how these rifle volunteers are beating my... Oh, look. When I tell my units to do something, they're like, ha YOLO. What? I'm sorry, do my units just have no attack? There we go. What the heck happened there, mate? Do I actually fall back to the mountains? Uh, I think I might have to. <laughs> wow, I'm literally going to go back to where I started. Edinburgh's now surrounded. Oh, for pity's sake. Get out of there, young'uns. Okay, where won't they be able to do very much damage to me? Too much damage. Okay, uh, this might be my final fallback line. Oh my god, get out of there. Get out of Paisley. Oh no. Come on! Oh yeah! Yeah, I'm sure. Hmm. 
but now we're in home turf. The mountains. Why is that plains? Are you sit? That's plains. It looks like mountains to me. Mate, where do I have to go to get to mountains? Jeez. Forest. Forest. Plains. I'm losing all of my industry just to try and protect these poxy plains. Okay, so we're in the forest and the wooded areas now. I'm hoping I can hold them here. If not, I it's definitely game over. I've lost all of my industrial base. Like the Jacobite cause is, is it's looking bad. It's looking very bad. Especially, uh, it's frustrating that I can't hold them like on these tiles. This is looking dodgy, but luckily I haven't lost any of my core terror. I've lost 100,000 troops, mainly just to encirclements. So I'm hoping if I can hold them here now. Yeah, see if they try and attack in the mountains or the forest. My mountaineers are pretty good at holding. And they are losing. A lot of them don't have equipment. Actually, did I even look at... Are you not doing anything, love? Helen? Helen? Oh, for God's sake, Helen. I think we'll eventually get area superiority here. And they are slowly losing more troops than myself now. Oh, Churchill, their stability is four. Import Bavarian veterans. Come on in, Bavaria. Bavaria. 56,000 manpower. Really? That's frustrating. I would love them to just attack my position now, but I don't think they're going to. Oh, wow. I think they might actually be pushed a tile. Oh! <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, but we're not going to be able to hold the tile. Okay. Right. Oh, we finally got green air in the highlands. That's good. All right. I don't know that I'm never going to be able to push. If I'd have managed to withdraw in good order from the start, then it might the situation might be a bit different. So, for example, if I go bim, bam, boom. Oh, we can actually push on that particular tile. Okay, so in the mountains, my mountaineers are fantastic. Uh, and I've also got the highland laddie. Yeah, hill and mountain. So, if I just did like a cheeky push for that tile. Like my units don't... Yeah, easy peasy. Whoa, 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 whoa. They just started attacking off their own volition. What the frick? <laughs> no, 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 that's not what I wanted. Maybe if we push there to help out our units a little bit. Why are they attacking? Why are you... I did not order... Stop attacking. Stop attacking. I'm not doing this. Am I hacked? I'm just going to have to go for it. Oh, feck. I don't know what happened there, but my divisions just went freaking bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Okay, please. Please stop. How many units are in circle down here? Just the one. At least I can probably get them. So they're now trapped up here. Hashtag triggered. Stop attacking! I, I have no idea what state my army is in anymore. Suddenly, the Yorkists have lost 215,000 troops. I'm set to aggressive. Oh, no wonder I was having such a hard freaking time. I, I have no idea how my troops have managed to do this. They now are on zero stability. And they have between 1 and 3k manpower. Okay, I think now is the time to just, just to push. With everything we have, and I'll deal with all of the rebellions later. To York? I guess. This counterattack has been... Uh, Years in the making. We're now in 1948. Wow. We've never been this far south. Holy moly. And look, they've all been encircled. <laughs> Is that in Wigton? Wig Kukubri. They've, we've encircled them in Kukubri. Again, a nice little village. Spent a bit of time there. Wow, they've collapsed. I don't know how that happened. All because my units glitched, I think, and just started attacking when I told them no. Apparently the AI knows better than me. Okay. Oh, you're having a giraffe. They're 98% towards victory. I am. But because I can't get down to the freaking... I'd have to go after other people in order to capitulate. Oh, what if I maybe took that? Would that work? No. Well, that's frustrating. But I won. Uh, but I think that's where I'm going to leave it. Um, having defeated Winston Churchill and taken all of the north for the Jacobites. I'm in 1948 now, so I've gone a lot further than I would usually in a scenario uh but if you've enjoyed this of course do comment like and subscribe i'll probably come back to the mod when it's more complete because it is a lot of fun it is really a lot of fun um so hopefully you enjoyed diddly diddly tea diddly boo for now Bye bye
Many thanks to Onion Duck, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Robert Kinge, Dath Falcon, Ryan Koch, Name Name 1231, Aiden, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, Logan Whaley, and Drew's Uncle for being ridiculous rounder supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too!